Hello everybody, welcome back to Felsbrunn with me, Golf Cart Jockey. We, uh, we have to go take care of some stuff to, to get Xavier up and running. Our good buddy Farmer Min, um, let's just say he delivered a horse yesterday. We won't, we won't, uh, get into the particulars of how he did such a thing, but he, he brought us a horse. Like, what an amazing man. That's crazy. I love it. Absolutely fabulous. So we had to had to get us some help up here real quick, build us a horse paddock. Uh, kind of threw one up, and we've been getting supplies now for Xavier. Uh, Got to take care of him. Can't just uh, have him hanging out with no food and no water or anything like that. So what we're doing now is we're going to run down to the store and we're going to get a uh, bale shredder so that we can put straw down for him to to have a little bedding. Um, we'll run down do that. That should get him taken care of uh, as far as everything he needs. And then we will take him out and ride him for the first time. That's going to be exciting. Go for a ride. Maybe ride down to uh, Farmer Men's house. Introduce Xavier to the horse with no name. That's always sounds exciting. Yeah, I think that'll be a pretty good plan. See if we can get Xavier off this mountain <laughs> uh, without the the normal fate that we have. Uh, nope. See, it's just bound to happen. Hopefully Xavier can steer himself a little better than that, though. We'll just, uh, let him take over and, and get himself down the mountain. Tell him where we need to go and he put him on autopilot. So, yeah, we're going to go get the bell shredder. We're going to ride Xavier, get his five minutes done for the day. Uh, I guess we'll clean him after that, make sure he's good and taken care of. We'll check on the chickens. I don't think they need anything, and um, we're not going to mess with the eggs until it says that there's no more room for eggs, just just to see what happens with them. There's a bunch of boxes that have spawned up there, but my count is still at zero. Uh, let's see if we can go there real quick. Oh, still driving. The count is at zero, and reproduction rate is still at just bars. So, a little disappointing, but yeah, they don't need anything, so... We'll take care of Xavier, and then we can... I think what I'm going to do is the area up on top by the train tracks up there. I'm going to put the front mower on the 6R and the loading wagon on the back. And we'll just ride around and mow all that and pick it up in the loading wagon. Maybe start putting some in the silage bunker, just so we have a little something down there to look at. Um, start making progress towards that. So... I think that's what we're going to do. That's about the only grass that's ready today. We'll have to wait. Uh, wait till tomorrow. It's it's about lunchtime now, so that'll get us through the afternoon and take a little break this evening, and that'll do it. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be ready to rock and roll. Huh. I think only only one crash on the way down there. That wasn't too bad. I don't think I can go fast enough to crash this thing. I think that's what it is. That Mahindra is just dangerous. That thing is way overpowered. I love it. Now, Farmer Min is going to be a busy man for the next day or two. He said he had a lot of harvesting to do. Um, and, boy, it looks like it. I think that's all soybeans right there. So he has quite a bit of work to do. Um, I know he's harvesting canola now, I think, on the other side of his farm. It's probably what he's doing this morning, so... He's got a lot going on over there. A lot more than we do at the moment. We're just kind of in the hurry-up-and-wait stage right now. Um, and the next day or two, we're, we're going to have plenty to do to keep us busy, but... Until then, and until the grass grows and the barley starts coming in, uh, there's not going to be a lot for us to do here. So, there we go, we called Big Papa, and he said he would have this thing out front for us, ready to go. And he sure did, didn't he? Let's see. Anything else we need while we're here? Uh, should have brought a trailer with me. Maybe I could have taken some more pallets back up, but... Too, little, too late for that now, so... We will take this big thing back up the mountain. It's a little heavy. Might have to... Get a weight for the rear of this thing. I think my back tires are off the ground now. That should make for an exciting ride. I'm sure nothing bad can come from that. 
So we will take this back up to the horse paddock and get Xavier straightened out. And we'll catch up with you when we're ready to go for a ride. All right. Made it back up the mountain. Now we're going to check this thing out and see if we can figure out how to use it. A pretty cool looking little machine right here. Set it down. I think we can... Yeah. Indeed. Whoops. It comes with a bale spike, which is very cool for the price. Um, $2,300, I think this is. This is the 551FL, uh, which stands for front loader. There is a 555, a 551TL, which is for a telehandler. And there's one that's for a skid steer. I don't think it's a 551, but it's a uh, SSL which is skid steer loader. That's the smallest one, the cheapest one. So, uh, maybe that's good enough. I'm not sure how good this needs to be in there. Let's see if we can hook back up to it and anything happens here. Oops. Must have missed my mark. <laughs> All right, there we go. The bale kind of falling in there. Let me turn this way. Oh no. There it goes. The bale almost fell out. We just barely saved it. Let's see if we can tilt it back. Uh oh. Alright. Let's try again. We'll put it over here this time. So that's a pretty cool little thing for $2,200. That's cheap. Uh, $2,300, whatever I said it was. 25. I think the most expensive one is three. Oh, come on. Let it go. Alright, grab the bale. We'll throw it back in there. The thing was going to town on this bale. Alright. There we go. Leave it sitting this time. Don't mess with it. That it? Okay, that must be it. So I guess for now I can switch right there and just leave the whole thing here. Let's check a menu real quick, see how Xavier is doing. Um straw hasn't registered and not quite full on oats. Uh we put two pallets of oats in and we had bought a third one at the store. Um, Farmer Men was at the store and he called me and asked me if he wanted me to pick it, him to pick it up and bring it up here. Uh, he said he'd bring it up later this afternoon, so I said that would be great. Uh, so we we do have another one coming for the horse uh, for Xavier. And like I guess say whenever that registers, obviously that I'm assuming that will be full because it cut itself off. So yeah. Let's go in here. Say hi to our buddy. Hello, Xavier. A good looking dude, aren't you? Yeah, you are. There we go. Take him for a little ride. About through the gate here. I don't think we're quite ready to go around jumping stuff. Take it easy on our buddy the first time out. Oh, there he goes. He wants to run. All right. Very good. All right. Xavier and I are going to take a ride. We're going to go, uh, I think we're going to go introduce him to the horse with no name. So we're going to ride down to Mr. Men's place and see what's happening. And uh, that ought to stretch his legs pretty good. I'm sure he'll be tired by the time we get back from that. Give him a good workout. So, tell you what. I will get him off of this mountain some way, somehow. And just in case somebody from PETA is watching, I'm going to turn this off. And we will catch you at Farmer Men's house. Alright. Look at what we found. Got some weeds growing there. Nice harvested field. Look at that. Very good. 
Well, Xavier is quite a steed, let me tell you. He got us down off that mountain in no time. Let's see if we can jump the fence here and show off a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look at that horse with no name. Can you do that? Let's go up here. Oh, look. There's Farmer Man over there. Working away. Hopefully he doesn't see us over here playing with his horse. What do you think about that horse with no name? Got your new buddy here. Oh, it's like that, huh? Just gonna turn your back on us. I see how it is. You jealous because you're not the only horse around now? That's all right, big boy. I see a race in our future. Yeah, I see a race. That's right. Tell him, Xavier. Oh, pawing at the ground. All right, Xavier's ready to go. We're out of here. We're out of here. He's going over your food trough to take that. All right, Xavier's starting to breathe hard. I think he's ready to go home. We're quite a distance from home, so uh, I'll probably slow this down. Let him take it nice and easy back up through there. Take a walk, and um, yeah. We'll catch up with you when we get back up there. All right, made it back up the mountain. We came in a pretty much a straight line. Boy, Xavier is a go. Look at him. This dude does not stop. I got thoroughbred. I love it. Let's get him back over. So, oh, hey, look, look at there. Farmer Min's here. He brought our oats. Oh, good. You'll have something to eat. Ah, that's a fabulous, fabulous thing. <laughs> Look at him. Giving us the jump. Let's pull up here and stop. Yeah, look at that. Check out Xavier, huh? Pretty good looking horse, huh? Look at that. Are you jealous? Fine looking ride. Look at that. Yeah, looking good up there. Got his cowboy vest on. I like it. I like it. Oh, where'd he go? He's behind us. I can't see him. Oh, <laughs> he's up on top. See you, buddy. <laughs> uh, something else. I tell you, this I, <laughs> this series is the most fun I've ever had recording. Uh, just because of random encounters like that. Like I didn't know he was going to be up here. Um, <laughs> That just makes it so much more fun. I love it. All right, we're getting back. So that means he brought us a, a pallet of oats up. Very good. We'll ride back through the gate here. Get Xavier all cleaned up. Uh, I think we're going to straighten the yard up, too. I've been saying I was going to do that. I need to get that done. Uh, whoops. There you go. Let me off, buddy. Where'd he go? Sneaky horse. Oh, he had to go get something to eat. Hungry. There we go. Get him cleaned. Oh, that wasn't it. I might have to turn the help window on. How do I clean this guy? Yeah, he's definitely dirty. Uh, oops. Let's get familiar with it. Circle. Oh, okay. Circle cleans him. That's why we couldn't get it done. I thought you had to click in one of the sticks. Okay. Perfect. Now, Xavier is all taken care of, I think. Did we save that? Chickens are good. Still not doing anything, <laughs> just like normal. Uh, I felt certain the ride time would go up. Oh, that's just... Uh, okay. I think that's just his overall uh, performance level, maybe. See if his ride time's all the way up. Oh, I have to turn the help window on, maybe? Oh, I thought it brought a bar up. It said how much you had walked him. <laughs> maybe not. Anyways, I'm sure we've reached our five minutes. We went up and down the mountain in the farmer men's house and we made a lot of, covered a lot of ground. So if that didn't do it, we'll just, uh, we'll get some more later. But 
we'll see if that number goes up on its own, kind of like the the feed does. Uh, it doesn't update automatically. So we will take the six M, go over here, grab the pallet forks, start straightening up a little bit. Uh, what he did with the pallet of oats. Wonder where he put that. Better yet, I wonder how he unloaded it. Huh, that's a good idea. He was up here with the Mahindra with the pallet in the back. And I don't think he had any way to unload that thing. Knowing him, he just backed up real fast and slammed on the brakes. Alright. I think what we're gonna do is just stick him under this first bay right here of the shed. Let's get the eight out of the way. Back this bad boy up right here. I think we already got some grass growth up there. That's a good sign. And yeah, we'll grab these pallets here and stack them up all nice and neat. See if we can keep them separated, seed and fertilizer. Uh, I wonder if I could do could do a row just inside the second bay and a row on this side of the first bay. Anyway, when you back the cedar in there, you should be able to get from both sides. Let's see if that'll work. That's a thought anyways. Alright, I'm going to take on doing these and see if we can get them stacked and put away. Or maybe I can fling them across the yard like I'm getting ready to do. And we'll check back with you in a moment. Well... I got good news and bad news, I guess. The good news is, uh, good old Xavier doesn't have to worry about being sold. Um, looks like we're going to keep him forever. Because, much like the chickens, who don't do anything, neither does Xavier. It's a daily riding. I just took him out again. Rode him for five minutes. And I know that the first time we rode him for at least five minutes down the mountain and back up. And it still says zero, so... I'm sure that his level won't increase, just like we can't make any eggs. Man, have some bad luck up here on the mountain. I don't know what to do. I guess the only thing we can do is cut grass up here. So I guess I better go get a lawnmower then. Hmm. Kind of disappointing. Uh, let's grab the 6R here. Go get the front mower and the loading wagon. And we'll go around and mow the edges. Um, clean up all the loose stuff. Make it look a little better around here. And dump it in the silage bunker. Go ahead and start filling that thing up. Well, it'll take us a while to fill it. But we'll go ahead and start working towards it anyways. Let's see. Where, there it is. Um, yeah. Our good friend uh, Robert the Hobbit has a picture of him in the small bunker. And I think it has over 700,000 liters in, in the small one. Which is what we have. So, um, yeah. Quite a bit of grass we need to collect. If, uh, if we're going to get that kind of level out of it. So, yeah. It'll take us a while to fill that. But. At least we know we can fill it up and make, you know, make some money off of it. It will hold quite a bit. Let's see. Drop that down. Oh, jump out of the mower. Or really just turned everything off. Drop that. Turn that on. Okay. Let's start cutting. That way we're at least, uh... Not ruining a growth stage with our tires. We do not have narrows on here, so be careful of destroying things. But yeah, there we go. Doing what we're good at: picking up grass, mow the bushes. We'll cut everything. We're equal opportunity mowers. We'll mow anything, trees. It doesn't matter. Whatever we can run over. Not 
too bad a yield off here. We might fill this trailer up on this hillside. That would be nice. That would be a bonus. I was expecting to go most of the way around, uh, around the farm before we filled up since you cannot fertilize this grass. It's, uh, you know, natural, let's say. Oh boy. It was a bold move. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to get a load or not, but that's alright. We'll get, we'll get quite a bit off of here. Might have to move some equipment. That's one way to move it. Get out of the way. Coming through. Cultivator doesn't know who I am, does it? I wonder what the capacity of this thing is. Obviously, it's not very much. 8,000 is almost halfway. Anyways, I'm going to carry on doing this. We'll catch up to you when we fill this and go empty it uh, into the bunker. And see, see how far we got. I think we're gonna, gonna fill this thing up pretty pretty easily in here. It's pretty good. I think we'll use uh that's probably the strategy we'll use to fill the bunker. Uh we'll bale the fields and, and wrap those still. Uh at least for now until we figure out a way to sell it at the BGA, but um yeah. We'll take this loose stuff. It's kinda hard to get in here in wind row and bale and all wrap and all that stuff with the you see how much we're bouncing around here we'll just do this this way with the front mower and uh loading wagon on the back we'll do this uh, hard stuff uh no sense letting the grass go to waste we might as well use it for our profit at some point especially if uh we don't have any chance of selling racehorses or racing chickens those are just for uh, for your amusement only. So yeah, we're gonna need to sell some grass. We might need to do it in large quantities because that makes large quantities of money, which I like. And so does Jeff, the banker. He wants some more. He wants any, I guess. At this point, <laughs> he said he'd like just a little something, show a good faith. So we'll see what we can do. Keep the relationship strong. I'd hate it if he asked to give back the coffee mug or the t-shirt or something. That would be bad. We don't want to do that, so we'll stay on his good side. And, uh, oh, yeah, I haven't even noticed. How long have I been blabbering on while we're full here? Oh, goodness. Pick that up. I guess I have to look for traffic. We pretty much own the mountaintop. No only person me coming through here is a guy on a horse. All right, dumping in a silage bunker again feels good. Missed it. Haven't done this in a while. Whoa, we can tell. By the way, I overshot it. All right. We don't have the help window on, so that's not to our benefit. There we go. Let's turn the window on. Make sure everything's working okay. Yep, 23,000, 27%. Perfect. Wow. Look how fast the compact lens going up. It must be. I feel like they've altered that rate. That's good. Took way too long uh, in the last game. I mean, we're just in a six series with a loading wagon behind us, and we're already at 70%. I know it's only one trailer load, but I mean, we're we're going up 20 or 30% a pass. That's nice. I hope that continues. I hope that's a trend right there. All right. Well, let's go do it again. We'll fill it up one more time and clip our roof on that roof. And, oh, is that tractor running? It is just sitting near Farmer Men style. 
I know why it's here. I left it here so I could clean it. I didn't mean to leave it running so I could clean it. I wonder if the, uh, like in seasons, the washing helps with the maintenance. I'll have to look into that. I'm sure that information is out there in a hundred different places. I just did not uh, did not look into it tried to avoid the hype as much as possible all right looking good get him out of the way get back to work over here what we were doing I think we'll even back up a little bit and might as well take this strip out right here with us There we go. All right, so I'm going to go around here and mow the edges, get the tough parts. We'll fill this thing up again, dump it one more time to see if that uh, compaction rate kind of goes up at the same rate. be interesting to see if, if that happens uh, or not. But we'll be right back. All right, another wagon full. Still have more to cut over on the sides, so uh, we may get a third wagon out of it yet. Um, not done yet. I like it. It's just kind of like free grass to me, so. Oh, goodness. That would be a building. Let's stop before we hit that. I think we can sneak through there. Okay. I think that's going to about do it today. I keep looking over my shoulder every time I hear the train coming, I get a little gun shy. <laughs> you never know when the, when the Lone Ranger is going to show back up with a horse on the back. That guy's a nut, I tell you. He cracks me up. He is something else. If you gotta have a neighbor, you wanna have a neighbor like Farmer Men. I can tell you that. As uh, a stand-up kind of dude. Nobody else will borrow a train and bring you a horse just because they heard you wanted one. That's That's something special right there. I like it. So, we got our second load in there. Oh, we were going to check. Yeah, let's check and see how easy it is to compact this. It is at 72. Unless the 6R is just supremely heavy. I know I did have the wheel weights on it, but... I think I do. Yeah, we got the wheel weights on. And, I mean, just a forward and backward pass, pretty much. Going up 28%. I think it was 72 when we pulled in. Yeah, I definitely think it's going up faster. That's nice. Excellent touch right there. 45,000. 100%. We got a little bit sneaking out there. We'll have to tidy that up. Get that knocked down a little more flat. We don't want to get the trailer high centered when we come through here. Get stuck and that always stinks when you have to go get another piece of equipment to get you out of here. But, yep, that's it. Let's check on our non-productive animals while we're here. Turn that off. Look at there. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. That's how it goes sometimes. Guess we'll just have to, uh... These must be empty boxes. That they just keep putting out here. We're gonna let this fill up this time. See what happens. See if it ever does fill up. I mean, if it stays at zero. Who knows? I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyways. I think that's where we're gonna leave it. Got everything tidied up. Got the uh, pallets put away. Rode Xavier for a while. Got Xavier uh, all topped off on everything. Got him good to go. Settled in over there. We took him down to meet uh, the horse with no name. I think Xavier was breathing through his nostrils a little hard at him. Might have laid down a challenge there. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, we also got 
45,000 liters of silage put away. So that's not bad. Not bad. Uh, getting 130 in the afternoon. It's almost time for me to go take a nap. I think this is far too active today. So with that being said, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey. Have a good day.